The road to stardom can be difficult, but these parents put way too much pressure on their kids early on. Some celebs with wild reputations spent their childhoods being controlled, and when they let loose, they went a little overboard. Is there a correlation between overly strict parents and stars who act out in later life? Britney Spears According to Britney Spears herself, she may have had the talent, but she didn't really have the personality to be a pop star. But when she'd get on the stage, she had a totally different personality. That didn't stop her dad, James Spears, from pushing her to get on stage and start singing. During her infamous hair-shaving meltdown, she told salon employees that she was so tired of people touching her hair she wanted to shave it all off, and then immediately started worrying about what her mother would say. She said, my mom's gonna be pissed. James is still her conservator, which means he has control over her finances and career to this day. Her mom, Lynn Spears, is fighting for a bigger say in her daughter's life, while many fans believe it's time to free Britney from her parents. The Kardashian Jenners We all know about infamous momager Kris Jenner, who was the one who got her whole family involved in the world of reality TV. Even though her kids are all grown up with careers and families of their own, she's still a huge part of their lives and their careers. What is going on? From breaking up fights to giving business advice, Kris really earns her 10% take of everything her kids do. Even makeup mogul Kylie Jenner admits she isn't sure what she'd do without her mom's advice. I haven't learned everything from my mom yet that I know that I need to. Beyonce when Beyoncé was with Destiny's Child, she sang about being an independent woman, but it would take this star some time to break away from her father, Matthew Knowles. Not only is he her dad, but he was her manager for a long time, including when she was first starting out and fighting to be famous. But soon, she found herself fighting with her dad. According to Beyoncé, he would book gigs knowing she wanted to turn them down, and eventually she was forced to fire him as her manager. Lindsay Lohan Many people see Lindsay Lohan as the pinnacle of a child star who went wild during her career. But according to Lindsay, her entire childhood was unpredictable and messy because of the control her father Michael Lohan had over his family. She claims he would leave for long periods of time, only to return and plunge their lives into chaos. Yeah, it was really rocky. Lindsay couldn't even have friends over, and even as an adult, they don't exactly have the best relationship. My dad has a whole other life that he lives with this other, these other people. Miley Cyrus Speaking of child stars who went through a rough and incredibly public period, let's talk about Miley Cyrus. Her mother, Tish Cyrus, has been her manager since she was a kid, and she still is to this day. Miley claims that she was forced to fit a certain image for so long that she went a little bit overboard trying to figure herself out. Tish admitted she used to ground Miley, which is a power a manager usually doesn't have over their stars. But as far as she's concerned, she was just looking out for her daughter. My girl, always good. Jessica Simpson Although Jessica Simpson describes her dad Joe as one of her best friends, she admits that his controlling and often exasperating behavior has caused her plenty of problems. While Joe Simpson supported his daughter's music career, he was against her marriage to Nick Lachey, and even asked her if she was sure about marrying him right before they walked down the aisle. In her memoir, Open Book, she said Joe accused Nick of making Jessica dependent on him, which she described as the pot calling the kettle black. Eventually, she had to fire him as her manager, and says she's much happier with him just being her dad. Bella Thorne some kids grow up wanting to be stars, but Bella Thorne wasn't one of them. Her mother pushed her into the spotlight, and Bella was too young and inexperienced to speak up for what she wanted. I wanted to feel like I could speak. Although she loves her mother, she admits she was overbearing, and now Bella understands why a lot of former child stars act out when they get older. They finally get to please themselves, for once. Macaulay Culkin Macaulay Culkin started acting at the age of four, and his famous role in the film Home Alone saved his family from the brink of bankruptcy. His father's way of supporting his family was to push Macaulay into roles, and he controlled his career with an iron fist. Since Christopher Kit Culkin was once an actor himself, it seemed as though he was living out his own dreams through his children. His mother wasn't his manager, but Macaulay felt she spent his money a little too freely and ultimately sought emancipation from them when he was a teenager. Nick and Aaron Carter 
Brothers Nick and Aaron Carter also used their talents to save their family from poverty. But according to them, their mother just kept taking. Jane Carter said she sacrificed everything to manage her kids' careers, but eventually they had to cut her off, claiming she acted too much like a boss and not enough like a mother. Her ex-husband Bob Carter accused her of playing favorites and only paying attention to the kids who brought in the most money. Everybody already thinks I'm a piece of dirt. She and Aaron eventually reconciled, and he tried to get her professional help so she could repair her life and they could fix their strained relationship. Leighton Meester According to Constance Meester, she sacrificed everything in order to support her daughter's acting career and was therefore entitled to a portion of her profits. Leighton Meester's mother tried to control her money, so the star tried to compromise by sending her $7,500 a month to pay for her younger brother's medical treatments and support. Later in court, Leighton alleged her mother had misappropriated the funds, using them to pay for cosmetic procedures for herself instead. Constance filed a countersuit against her daughter, asking for more money, but her suit was dismissed while Leighton won in court. Azalea Banks some stars are able to move past their complicated relationships with their parents, but Azalea Banks and her mother still don't exactly see eye to eye. According to Azalea, her mother would treat her coldly and then turn around and try to buy her affection while she was growing up. She described her relationship with her mother as extremely toxic and said to this day, her mom is still trying to control her and she refuses to let that happen. Eminem You've probably heard about some of Eminem's issues with his mother since he's written about them in his music. He accused her of suffering from Munchensons by proxy and said she often convinced him he was ill when he was perfectly fine. Eventually, his mother tried to sue him for $10 million but ended up with a mere $1,600. It does hurt, and I, God knows I don't deserve it. Christina Aguilera Christina Aguilera always found her relationship with her father inspiring, so much so that it inspired her to resolve never to let a man treat her the way he did. According to Christina, her father was extremely controlling, particularly towards her mother Shelly. She said it made her feel powerless and detailed her experience in her song, I'm OK. Jennifer Aniston Growing up, Jennifer Aniston didn't exactly have the best relationship with her mother, Nancy Dow. She claimed Nancy was hypercritical of everything Jennifer did and was always criticizing her appearance. The Friends star described her mother as emotionally draining, and this led to a prolonged period of no contact when she was an adult. Eventually, Jennifer was able to make amends with her mother, realizing that while her words were deeply hurtful, they came from a place of love, and Nancy simply didn't know how else to communicate. Ariel Winter Ariel Winter claims she missed out on a normal childhood, not because of her acting career, but because of her mother. She says her mother purposely kept her isolated when she was growing up and wouldn't even allow her to have friends for the 14 years they lived together. Eventually, things got so bad that Ariel ended up emancipating herself and moving in with her sister until she was 18. For Ariel, it was a massive change that allowed her to have fun, friends, and repair her relationship with her father. Shia LaBeouf Speaking with Interview Magazine, actor Shia LaBeouf once claimed that the only worthwhile thing his father ever gave him was pain. He described his dad as manipulative and a marionette puppeteer who he couldn't have a real conversation with. This father and son went through a seven-year-long period of estrangement but are working on repairing their damaged relationship. Lourdes Madonna is known for her wild behavior on stage, and we all know this is a star who isn't afraid to push the envelope. But when it comes to her own kid, she can be surprisingly strict, so much so that some of them don't have much of a relationship with her anymore. She strictly managed their access to electronic devices as well as their social lives and said one of her biggest mistakes was giving her older kids Lourdes and Rocco cell phones. This star blames those phones for their lack of a relationship and says she won't make the same mistake with her other kids. Alana Thompson Alana Thompson, better known as Honey Boo Boo, was a breakout star on Toddlers and Tiaras who ended up with her own reality show. But soon, it seemed like her mother's career took precedent over her daughter's and she was accused of helping herself to Alana's funds. Sources told TMZ that the family was forced to hire an attorney to stop June Shannon from spending Alana's money after she sold her house and many of Alana's belongings in the process. Miranda Kerr Miranda Kerr's mother, Therese Kerr, claims that the two of them are best friends, but admits that her daughter has called her out for her controlling behavior in the past. Apparently, Miranda frequently had to step in and tell her parents to back off when it came to taking care of her son, Flynn, who she shares with Orlando Bloom. Therese admitted that they often overstepped and eventually ended up stepping down as CEO of her daughter's skincare company, Cora. 
Tori Spelling. Candy and Tori Spelling have had one of the most notoriously mother-daughter relationships in Hollywood history. According to Tori, Candy didn't even tell her when her father had passed, and instead she found out through a family friend via text. Candy pushed her daughter into getting a nose job at a young age and refused to pass along more than $800,000 to Tori from her father's $500 million estate. Later, Candy didn't shy away from speaking negatively about her own daughter in her memoir, Stories from Candyland. Do you think these parents went too far, or were any of them just trying to look out for their children? Head to the comments section to share your thoughts with us and your fellow fans, and stay connected to The Taco by clicking on the subscribe button and turning on your notifications for more new videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time!